And then so you take off like a shot. You you had the, the friend that's, that's close to you dies. You realize that we're all here for as long as we got, and that's it. So let's do it while we're here. Yeah, more or less. Mm-hmm. It, I'll, let you, I'll let you continue. Well, I, I, I was going to pivot to to publishing because you're 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 getting it done. Um, uh, you're, you're you're on fire. You're you're getting these books out uh, during the rest of the world's falling apart. You're like, not until I finish my books. <laughs> <laughs> then you have my permission to fall apart. But until then, I need you to hold it together. Um, so uh, when it comes to, to publication, do you spend any time at all uh, looking at traditional publishing or is it just straight to, I know how I'm going to publish this. I want to publish it my way. So I do take uh, the time to like, I do query agents and do all the traditional path, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait on others to, for my dream, you know, I'm gonna just get it out there and let the people decide. So how long did you try to play it straight before you decided, eh, I'm just going to do it? I think it was like, uh, it was a, at least like six months of, you know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade any of that, you know, I wouldn't trade any of my journey, any of the no's I've gotten. I think they've all, every single thing has led me to here and I'm pretty, pretty damn happy. Well, I should be uh, very clear. I'm a, I'm a big proponent of, of, of self-publishing. Um, just ask you how we, how sitting around querying and waiting forever would have worked out for him. He's, he's doing fine. <laughs> would I love an agent? Yes, but I love, what I love more is people telling me how much they love my book and like what it did for them reading. And that's something that makes me so happy. So you put the, uh, the, the book out there and how long does it take for it to find readers and what are you doing to get readers interested? So like I'm going on podcasts and, uh, you know, trying, I have a TikTok still trying to get that all going. I, even though I am a Gen Z, I don't really know how to use Twitter. So I don't really use Twitter. Um, but as far as like, how long does it take to get readers? I'd say probably like, it takes like a couple months for everything to like flow in. And then, you know, we, uh, we have a positive, uh, flow. So that's good. Beautiful. <laughs> well, I know you're, you're a full-time author at this point, right? Uh, yeah, I do. I full-time author and I also have a, uh, a job as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. Sorry. Um, and then, um, oh, I had a burning question and I, uh, oh, no. <laughs> so nobody's passing this class. <laughs> so, um, you, 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 you're putting the books out, um, you're hitting the road, uh, running. Where do you foresee yourself? Um, do you have like a, like a timeline, like five years from now? I'll be here, I'll be accomplishing this, here's my uh, vision board, or is it, I don't know how long I'm going to be alive, until then I'm going to write, write, write. It's a little bit of both, you know, um, it, so I, even though I have two series, I am in the makings of making a third one, and that's going to be a comic book, and so that's another whole, a whole ordeal that I've, that I'm putting myself through, but yeah, so I want to make a comic book, and that's going to be, I'm nowhere near ready to tell people about it, but it's something super cool, and uh, what, what, was the, what was the question again? I don't remember, who cares, this comic book, um, <laughs> are, are you working with, uh, with, with artists to make this happen, where are you at in the process? So I, I'm in the drafting it, and then... I'm going to try, if you're a graphic designer listening to this, you can always uh, contact me. Um, but I am in the process of trying to get a graphic designer. So getting a graphic designer that wants to make like manga-esque uh, comic books. And I want to get, I want to get somebody who's uh, younger. I want to give like a, you know what I'm saying? You give a new a newer 
uh, uh, like a younger uh, graphic designer who hasn't really had their big break yet. Gotcha. Uh, and then they're forever going to be tied up with the tremendous success that this is going to be. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that makes me smile. Was there something about this new idea? And obviously you can't, you can't say much at this stage, but did it present initially at a, as a novel or the, the moment you looked at it, you said, no, this has got to be a graphic novel. When did you know that it had to be, that was the type of storytelling for it? Probably ever since the inception. I remember I was, uh, the time I was struggling for money trying to just door dash it out and I came out with this idea for uh, Realm of Champions that's what I'm going to call it and it's what's cool is it brings in a lot of modern concepts mixed with old mythology and it's uh, about as much as I can say. Well we got a title so I've already dragged that out of you. We're <laughs> oh, yeah. I got. I had to close the door. I, I was. You were opening Pandora's box. <laughs> all of these, by the way, all of these statements count as promises made explicitly to your readers. There will be eleven David Massey books, Rama Champions coming to you, guaranteed. <laughs> seven, seven corrupted lights. 